Good morning, fifth grade. It is good to be here with you. I enjoy doing this. I hope that it's helpful for at least a couple of you. Um, so this week, we worked on lesson 10, changing variables with artists. Now, if you looked up here, there's only five bubbles. However, we're taking the last one as an assessment, as a test grade. So we will walk you through that. Um, if you're doing it now, off this video, I'm going to deduct 10 points. You're not going to get an A. And the thing about it, well, the thing about it is you also lost out on a participation grade today. So here we go. So it says, let's start this section by drawing a triangle with 150 pixel signs. Be sure to use the length variable and a repeat loop. So we have to set up a variable for length. So we're going to click that, click on variables, set length to, put that in there, and then we are going to go to math and pull out the number, the number block. It says 55. We're going to change it to 150. And then, like it says, now we're going to put the uh, repeat loop in. Repeat three times. We are going to go to actions, move forward by length by 150 pixels, and turn left by 120 degrees. 120 degrees is the outside angle. It's an obtuse angle, but it's actually the inside angles are 60. Very good. I'll show you that to you again. And then we're going to move on to number two. Now it says it's the same thing. We Re rebuild the triangle from the last code, but this time use the set length block to reset the length. Whoops, let me see if I can read that. To reset the length variable to a length of plus 10 at the end of each loop. Uh, itteration. So what it's saying is that this is no longer an equilateral triangle. Um, this is 150. This is going to be 160. This I'm sorry, 160, and then this is going to be 170. So we are going to go to math. Oh, excuse me. First, we'll go to variable. Set length to, and we're going to put that underneath the repeat button. Inside the repeat button, under turn left. Then we go to math. And we're going to pull out one of these math blocks. Variables again. We're going to grab length. And then we're going to go to math for that 55. And we're going to change that to 10. Because it's going to add 10 pixels on each side. 150, 160, 170. Okay, look at that again. We still have the set the variable at 150, and then we put the set length to add the uh, 10 pixels on to the length. All right, number three. Okay, what it wants you to do here is see what happens when you repeat. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull these off. Okay. Um, make sure I change everything back the way it was okay so it says um, see what happens when you reset the code from the last puzzle instead of 30 times make it 31 and, and I just threw away another block so let me pull, let me pull that back out and get that started so we'll get the set length the math the plus minus uh, um, length the first one's gonna be length plus or minus 10. And instead of being three times, we're going to change it to 30 times. Oh, that's not right. Oh, I see. 120 degrees, that's fine.
Okay? And this is one of those ones where you can click finish. And if you want to, you have this code. You can send it to a phone, somebody's phone. Uh, put it to Facebook. If you have a Facebook account, I'm going to continue. Now, this one, it wants you to change. Uh, it says, here's your code from last puzzle. Try editing it in other ways. What happens when you start out with a length less than 150? So let's try that. Let's, let's change it to 100 and hit run. It's going to be smaller. Okay. And then what's the next one is suggesting? What, what if you multiply your variable by 1.25? So we are going to change the addition to multiplication and and put 1.25 1 in 2500 um, now it just makes it bigger much bigger each time it gets bigger and bigger and bigger the cap gets bigger I'm going to stop it and then the last one said what if you change by 119 degrees instead of 120 just one That's that one, and then you have to click finish. Same thing. You got you got your uh, uh, link here if you want to send it to somebody. And then finally, on this last one, what we're going to do? This is going to be your test part. It's supposed to, it, it's going to come up a blank slate. And I wanted you to make. I have to show you. Where is it? figure that looks like this. So we have a hexagon, six sides, six angles of 60 degrees, and we have a small square. So I'm going to go back to it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set our length to 100. You can make it a little bit smaller if you want to. 100 seems to work. Okay. And then we're going to re put a repeat block up there. We're going to change that to six. We are going to move forward by length, turn left by 60 degrees. Let me double check that. Okay, that gives us our hexagon, and that puts us right here. Now, this is a kind of a different block that we haven't really talked about too much. Go to actions. We are going to jump, get two jump blocks out. They have to be jumped. They can't be moved forwards. Jump, and we're going to jump backwards. And then we're going to put uh, a loop in. Four. Move forward by length. Turn left by 90 degrees. That's because... A square has four 90 degree angles. <coughs> Excuse me. And that would be that. It might be. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It might be simpler to change that length to 75 so we can see everything. That will get you 90% on your grade. Make sure you call or, or let me know somehow or another uh, in Google Classroom or in Class Dojo that you finished. Otherwise, guys, I really hope to see you next week. See you next time.